This presentation has nothing to do with conspiracy theories. This is an observation as to a tragedy regarding Kate Middleton and Charles. And what I want to do is to discuss this as adults and not through the eyes of the idiots, not through the eyes of the Piers Morgans, who I think, by the way, is the most worthless, worthless, absolutely without benefit of anything. His shows are horrible. And he and, and he 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 breaks in with this comment today regarding Kate, and they say nothing. I was watching the British comments, the worst. They say nothing. They talk around it. What do you speak like Americans? Get to the point. All they keep doing is say, this will be enough of the conspiracy theories. What conspiracy theories? You've been lying about everything. Now, let me make sure we understand this. She is a public figure. She is the future queen of queen consort or whatever of England. She's a public figure. They're cons- like public figures are saying, look at me, look at me. Here we are. Look at me. Here we are going. Here we are. Here we are on the on the Look at us here. We're waving here. And then all of a sudden they say, we want privacy. Now, wait a minute. I understand that to a point. I understand that to a point. But you're a public figure. And I've got to tell you something. And as much as I like her, as someone who could possibly like her, I don't know. I've never met her, obviously. But they are the worst. They're like Fanny Willis. They create lies out of nothing. They make, they create problems. They create problems. It's, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's incredible. How do they do this? Why do they do this? I have no idea. I have no earthly idea. I have no idea. So we're going to talk about this. And also today for about an hour, people were talking about Candace Owens, who was booted from the Daily Wire. But we knew this by that idiot genius, Ben Shapiro, who along with Destiny thinks, if I talk real fast, people will mistake that or confuse that with brilliance. And all you have to do is go to a mental hospital. Let me introduce you to Logoria and Logolalia. So we're going to be talking about that. I've been paying very close attention to it. And I want you to sit back and think with me. Just analyze this. And I'm not interested in... I know people love to say, oh, I don't care about that. Okay, fine, fine. Please, do me a favor. I do care about this. It's a fascinating subject. It's a sad subject. It's a subject of tragedy. And it's also a subject of some of the worst PR ever. Ever. And what I'm going to tell you today is an observation, not not ghoulish, not laughing. When I saw this today and saw Kate's recorded, I think it was Wednesday, but recorded uh, testimony or whatever. I said, look, it's not a, it's not a green screen, but it looks like it's in front of one of those portraits. And somebody said, oh, stop it. I said, look, there's not one flower. Mo- this is a portrait. This is, you know, when you go to a, a like, like a photographer and they have background settings, I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. And immediately it was, Don't observe, don't make an observation, don't think, don't point anything out. Why not? How can you miss this? How can you not understand this? So we're going to be talking about that. Please subscribe to the channel. I always tell you this, subscribe to the channel, like this video. Let's go through this. Let's point out, let's learn from this and compare him, excuse me, not him, them, to what some of the things that the idiocy that Donald Trump is 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 exhibiting also, in addition to all the others. But first, before we begin, before we begin tonight's exercise, let me remind you of this great sponsor. Well, it's time yet again to hail and salute our great friends at MyPillow.com. And if you use promo code Lionel, you get a free gift. 
No purchase necessary. I know, I know, a free gift. Gifts are free. Okay, it's a tautology, so sue me. But listen to me. Now listen carefully. What are we talking about here? Down comforters, flannel sheets, Giza Dream bed sheets, my pillow 2.0, body pillows, waffle blankets, couch and recliner pillows, sheets, slippers, percales. I'm not even done yet. Towels, quilts, bedspreads, mattresses, mattress covers, mattress toppers, linens, kitchen towels, bathrobes, pet blankets, pet blankets, bolster pillows, name it. Items to help you luxuriate and relax. And they're monster sellers, slippers, my slippers, slip-ons, moccasins. Think about it. What do they do at my pillow? What's their main goal? To make things real soft, plush, real comfy, comfy, or comfy as I say it. How perfect. So here's the link right now. Go to mypillow.com slash Lionel. Mypillow.com, promo code Lionel or slash Lionel, or call 800 645 4965. 800 645 4965. And watch how fast our good friend Mike Lindell answers the phone. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel, simply and absolutely the best. All right, my friends, let's talk about this and let's review this and let us maintain dignity and respect and not be ghoulish. This is not meant to be ghoulish. This is not meant to be mean. This is me and you observing as rational adults in terms of how to handle and how not to handle a situation. First and foremost, this Windsor family, Buckingham Palace, whatever the hell you call it, is the worst in terms of handling information. Now, let's talk about Charles just for a second. Let's think about this tragedy. This is a man whose sole goal in life, the only reason he existed, was to be the king. Once his mother either uh, abdicates or abnegates, she was 96 when she finally passed on. And finally, finally, this man who was ridiculed and just never from this weird looking, I felt sorry for him. Weird, strange, trying, just, just, just just disconnected. And then the Diana thing, oh, they couldn't stand him. And it was Camilla and it, oh, God. Again, not exactly somebody who's known poverty. But in terms of being absolutely compared to his real father, real father, you know, you know, uh, Mountbatten, that was his, oh, Monty, that was his father. That was really the guy. Hero, loved him. His father rejected him. Oh, he was always... Uh, Anne is the one who really, she would have been great, but she's a woman and they pass right over. It's stupid to go to Andrew or Porchy's boy. So they say, I don't know, but I'm not going to regale you with a lot of genealogical stuff. So here comes Chuck. Finally gets it. Sadly, after the queen mom and they, queen Elizabeth, and they loved her. It was looking pretty bleak there for Lizzie. Pretty bleak, especially especially after Diana uh, died. Her, they were so tone deaf. This is what these people are like. You don't understand. We're the king and we're the queen. I don't have to. I, we don't have to. We're not running for office. We don't care what you think about us. Well, big mistake. And finally, after. Remember, they were saying after after Diana died, do we lower the flag? Do we put the flag? She's not there. She's not that. Oh, for Christ's sake, would you just do the right thing? And people were furious. And they looked outside and they said, oh, my God, all the flowers. Remember, at the time, right around the time she died, Mother Teresa, who was another one, too. What a scam that one was. But at the time she died, remember that? They had her, remember her feet were sticking up? It was very sick very low key, obviously. Nobody cared about that. But there was Diana. And I mean to tell you, they 
they caught on. So anybody they walked around and inspected. Remember that when she and, and Phil, the Greek, he's not even British. They walked around looking at the flowers. Oh, look at flowers. Are these called flowers? He walked around with his hands, like he's handcuffed, behind his back, doing this stupid stroll, pretending he gives a rat's ass about flowers. But they did it, and finally they, whatever. So towards the end, you know what? She, I liked her. Okay, Chuck, it's yours, the coronation. And son of a bitch, right off the bat, he goes in for some type of prostate surgery, so they say, and lo and behold. Now, we don't know. Why they don't tell you the cancer, I have no idea. Can you understand this? We do it here. John McCain had a glioma. Teddy Kennedy, too. They tell you. We're, because people, if we're going to tell you you've got cancer, and if it's bad enough that it's serious, we, we're, we're funny here in, a, in the States. We tell you. They don't. Now, some rumors unconfirmed, un, there's no way to say it. Some people are saying pancreatic. Who knows? All I know is if I had to suspect, by virtue of the way they're handling this and the way they're speaking, it's very serious. So here we go. Here's Wills right off the bat. And people were talking before about should, should uh, Elizabeth just, just skip over Chuck completely? We knew that would have never happened. So, Wills, here you go. You're on deck. Sooner than you thought. All right, fine. Now, Kate. Now, listen. I know you're not into this. I know you don't follow this. I know you don't read the, you know, the gossip rags. But a lot of folks think uh, that, oh, Wills is a rake and a roué, a real cad. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. Hope not. I don't think your mother would have appreciated that. Okay. She knows too well what that's like. But, but remember the black eye? Remember all this? Of course not. You don't follow that. No, no, you don't follow that. But there's a lot of time. So, anyway, so all of a sudden, Kate is going in for abdominal surgery. What the hell is that? What do you mean, abdominal surgery? They wouldn't say. But, is she okay? They wouldn't say. Abdominal surgery? And the abdomen is technically under the, like under the diaphragm to the pelvis. They talk normally about pelvic. Do they talk abdominal? Is it the GI? Is it colon? She's 42 years old. She's young. What do, what do you mean? Say it. Well, they didn't. Okay, fine. Then we didn't see her. Where is she? Who? Kate. Um, she's uh, recovering. From what? Is she home? What did she have? Well, it's, she's doing fine. Kate, do you have a picture of her? No, she's... So then people start asking questions. So what did the... I keep saying Buckingham Palace. It's not, whatever the particular name of this is. What do they do? They say, what do we do? Call it a conspiracy theory, but they're not, there's no, just refer to it. Why? We haven't said, they're just asking questions. Do it. It's, there's some, how dare you? Some people were saying something because some people honestly didn't know where she was because they were so stupidly cagey about it. It was ridiculous. Kim Kardashian, who cares? Says, I'm going to go see Kate. Even, even John Oliver said, where is she? How dare you? What was wrong with that? You can't ask any questions? No, you can't ask any questions. What the hell's going on here? Why can't we ask a question? You can't. Shut up. Well, we don't do that here. You may do that there. We So people are going crazy. So obviously we're seeing what's going on. So first, first, there was a picture on Mother's Day. Remember that fiasco? Who was the genius who came up with this one? And there's Kate photoshopped. You don't put a photo. There are people. Do you not understand? There are people sitting in their parents' basements. 
in a wife beater. I know it's a terrible expression. It's a terrible expression. But you know what I mean. Covered in Cheeto dust on a beanbag chair in the rumpus room who do nothing but just look at this stuff. That's all they care about. You can't fool these people. Don't lie to them. And all of a sudden you get arrows here, arrows here, arrows here. Remember, you probably don't. Remember, um, uh, Obama's birth certificate. Remember that one? Arrows here, arrows here. What are you doing? These people don't, 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 you, don't put out pictures, documents, anything. They sit there. They're like the best labs in the world. Ask them to crowdsource. Okay. Then what did they do? Oh, there's that Kate. There she is. What? She's quite the jokester. What are you talking about? She photoshopped that. She photoshopped it. You know how stupid that is now that we're finding out how sick she was? And now they're saying, who's who's going to take the fall for that? You, you, you call me a conspiracy theory? You dropped the ball on her? What the hell's the matter with you? Then there was another picture. Remember the other picture, honey, where they said, oh, she did that one too. You people won't stop. You won't stop. This is the most goddamn stupid thing I've ever seen in my life. You will not stop this. Stop doing this. And then you turn around. And then they, then they the picture. How about this? Of her in the back of the Range Rover. Who the hell is that? What's the matter with you? Who? Who's that? Then the bricks didn't even match. Did you see that? I'm no genius here. This isn't about the man liquor Carcano. The bricks through the the the. Range Rover were different than the brick. What? What? How stupid. At least with a Photoshop, you got to look at it. Well, the hand didn't, you know, maybe. Does, does this cuff, does the collar match the cuff? Remember that one? Does this cuff, did, did, does Louis have five or six fingers or what? At least. But this one, and she's looking the other way. Then, then the best one, this unnamed person happens to go to this little farmer's marketplace right around the corner from Adelaide Cottage, wherever it's called, and they say, oh, look, there's Kate, a woman with the biggest bolo and APB, be on the lookout, in the world. They're looking for her, and there she is. Holy God, there she is. Not one picture. No pictures. You can't take pictures of lunch without people. They've got their cameras in their hand. What was that, empty? Do you know what kind of a security contingent if they roll on in there? The future king of England, you think he just shows up just driving? Hello! In the back, what? That would have gotten their attention and they would have got, I wonder who it is. Oh my God, there's Kate, take a picture. No selfies, no waving. No, just this one guy. By himself, who who strolls and takes a picture like a sniper shot through the what the hell? And then they have one frame, and I'm thinking that's not Kate. You conspiracy! It's not a goddamn conspiracy theory. That's not Kate. Where is she? I I don't wonder. And they just move on. Then you see Will's walking around with these. He goes to the most stupid things. I swear to God, I'd rather go on a cruise than some of the stuff he did, 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 Has he ever been to anything like, well, I'm going to the Scotch distiller's function? Yes. It's always some hospital in the middle, of, and he sits around there at some kid's table eating a bad sandwich, trying to pretend he gives a damn about it. I mean, it's the worst. This is where you send him? The future king of E. I have to to cancel all my appearances like that? What is this? It's the worst. And they say, well, how about, okay, shut up. What, what, is it? Don't ask. We already answered that. You didn't answer anything. They make you think like you're crazy. We already told you. You didn't tell us anything. Where is she? What, is she dead? Is she like, how dare you? Gee, why wouldn't we think that? Oh, I don't know. Two Photoshop pictures, this sniper photo with her in the back of the car. Gee, I don't know. I don't know. Where would we ever get that crazy idea from? Because you're acting like you're... I've seen fugitives. People 
on on police body cams when they go to the house and they say, where's your grandma? I don't know. We haven't seen her. They look less guilty than these people. Nobody's saying, still haven't figured out what's wrong with Chuck. Okay, and then today we see Case got cancer. Now, the first thing to notice, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Okay. I was watching the worst, the worst. British TV news, the worst. Because they're too busy being British. God damn it, ask the question. There was this one, I don't know what I was watching. It was, they had this woman who was a doctor, and they were asking her, do you, did you find that there's anything at all odd? Of it? Because if it's, it's a good hospital, and then it's like, you know, you can see the, the, the clocks. Remember like in movies, where they would have the, the, the second hand spinning? Five minutes later, she's still in the question. And of course, of course, she has the right to it because the privacy of the food. Because if you see the, the the surgery was and this and this this poor doctor is like, why the hell did you have me on? Would you shut up? Let me answer the question. It's almost as bad as a as a Piers Morgan. Let's see, junk yogurt and uh, Shmuley, the butt plug rabbi. Let's see those two go at it. What is this? They're the worst. They're the worst. I saw somebody who was a doctor from Mass General on some local show. He said, look, I don't know anything about this. I obviously didn't. He gave more information. By the way, it's not preventative chemotherapy. It's called adjuvant. And most probably what they did was they took out a mass. Could be, listen, of course, people always say pancreatic, whatever. I, I don't know. He said maybe not because of her age, but it could have been uterine, it could have been cervical, it could have been ovarian. He could have gone in, seen a mass, and then when they took it out, the remaining uh, segments of it, they might have done a biopsy and realized, ooh, well, we did a very good job, and we got all the markers and all the margins and all this, and and we did surgeons did a great job getting this, you know, dissecting this out. But let's play it safe and give her this, this adjuvant treatment. You know, not, not preventative, not prophylactic, but adjuvant treatment. Okay, fine. Great. Okay. So, sounds good to me, right? Sounds good to me. Well, that's sort of what they did. Maybe. And in that, in that little moment, I swear to God, I understood more of what was going on than any other person around. And this was just the doctor here because they are the worst. Okay. So then, then we have, Kate, please, who has seen this? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Did you see her in front of this? Did you ever see, we, one time years ago, somebody in our family, oh, my family, they said, let's, let's take a picture, a family picture. Say, like, oh, God. So anyway, so we're at this place. And I look around and say, what the hell is this background? It was like a, I said, what, what do you want in a field? What is this? There's a little, a little, little bridge and a little, uh, it's like, what are we doing here? That's the background. This is the most stupid thing I've ever seen. I got a suit on and we're sitting here and we're what, in a field? What is this? It was the corniest looking thing I've ever seen. That's what Kate's got. She's in front of this screen. It's not a green screen. I uh, maybe, but it's the look. It's just it's like a portrait of something. Look at the flowers. They're not moving. Nothing is moving. It's like you bastard. You can't even. Is she? And and I heard somebody on on the on British TV. Oh, there she is. Lovely. She's looking. There she is out in the garden. The garden. The flowers are frozen. Look at it, Pamela. Did you see it? It's a Monet painting. It's the, I, you can't even get this straight. What's the purpose of this? Who was the purpose? Of, let's put her for, where we're trying, is she there? Oh, and it was taken Wednesday. Now look, I hope she's okay. I like her. When you consider the shit she's been through, I'm sorry, pardon my French. I mean, I, you, you, you get into this group. I mean, dear 
God. I mean, it's one thing after another. Between Andrew, between Harry, we got that that witch, Megan. Oh, God. And I don't know if it look it looked like she had a wig or I don't know. I'm at a w I am at do not know. I hope she's okay. I hope she I really do. She's a she's a mother and she seems like she's not. But for God's sake. Now, let me also tell you something. Let me agree. Let me agree with let me tell you what I would have done. This is me, okay? Ready? Don't worry about me. I have this kind of cancer. Whatever it is. This is what I've got. This is what they told me. This is what it is. No reason to be ashamed of it. No reason to be. Tell people. So what are you doing? You're not telling anybody. Why? I don't know. I don't know. This is what I would have said. And this is me. And I can't tell anybody what to say. I would say, first of all, I'm in a palace. Do you know how many staff members I've got? I've got nannies, nurses, the best medical care. The people I worry about are the people who don't even have health insurance. Or they have some kind of like the Obamacare equivalent, the NIH or whatever it is. Those are the people I worry about. Those are the people I, I'm going to be fine. We've got to make sure we put money into detection, prevention, health. We've got to declare war on this. Right now, while you're talking about me, and I appreciate this, there are people whose names you've never heard of, who are who have worse than I am, who are scared, who may not have families. Those are the people who need your attention. Those are the brave ones. Those are the ones who, a single mom, a single dad, older people, they'll turn it on to somebody else. Turn it, oh, I would turn it away from me. Don't worry about me. I've got... I'm going to get the best care there is, but not everybody will. That's the problem. That's what I don't like. Say what you want. Then I would open up Adelaide Cottage or whatever the hell it's called to have cancer uh, survivors or cancer patients or kids. I would make it a learning thing. I would make I would have done something to say this is what we can't we're not gonna lie to you anymore. I would have loved to say, by the way, don't look at me. I couldn't find Photoshop. Photoshop? Do I look like I don't even know what the hell Photoshop is? I don't know who the genius bastard was who who pinned that on me twice. I didn't do this. They did that. Okay, and I don't like that because I don't lie to you. All right, that wasn't I didn't do that. And if I'm going to lie, it's going to be about something big and not this chicken shit. It's stupid. What is this? And by the way, take this thing down behind me. This is the worst painting. What is this? They can see it's not real. Am I supposed to be outside? Can we possibly tell the truth here? Is it possible for us to tell the truth? That's what I would have said. You know why? Because I'm an American. and we hate bullshit. We hate it. We just call it out. You call it a conspiracy theory. Are you kidding me? And the next time, the next time Wills tells you anything, yeah. Are you photoshopping me? What? Is that a photoshop? What? Like you pulled that one? You, you did that to her? You honestly said that you did that to her? You put the story out? That this way, do you mean to tell me that she doesn't look like she's, look, I hope she's fine, but she's probably, after what she's been through, post-surgery, post-op, chemo, I don't think she's in the basement photoshopping. That You owe everybody an apology for that one. That was, that was just beyond stupid. Twice. And Chuck, what do you have? Tell him. <clears throat> now, Chuck the King, maybe. Maybe succession and that sort of thing. Let me stop for a second. I get very, very upset with this because I hate to be lied to, no matter what. Like Fanny Willis. We're gonna we're, we're gonna take a pause with Fanny. There's some good stuff on Fanny. By the way, you see where Ashley Merchant? Oh, she's ready for prime time now. 
Ashley Merchant went, she got some, got her hair done, and she, oh, she is ready to go now. And she's going to drop the bomb of that old fanny. And then we'll talk a little bit about Candace or whatever. But first, in the meantime, dear friends, let me remind you about something which is also critical. And you have you have responded greatly to this. You know why? Because you're smart. It's called preparewithlionel.com, and it's about emergency food. Let's talk about a very serious subject, emergency food. That's right, emergency food. Now, I know at first blush, it's difficult for most people to think about something that they just, just take for granted, ever reaching, you know, emergency status. We're used to stores always being open, deliveries always made, no supply chain disasters, no, no ransomware catastrophes, you know, shutting down gas stations, no trucking strikes, no war, no protests from farmers, no mysterious Chinese weather balloons, nothing, nothing catastrophic in terms of weather. Well, that can't happen to us, right? And I understand it's a defense mechanism that we have because the idea of ever not being able to eat or locate food is seemingly incomprehensible to most people. But think about this. It's not. That's why it's time for you to go to my site, preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com has the deal of deals for you. Take it as a, as a starter set, an introduction set. You've been putting off emergency food for too long. Some people still have a thing about prepping as though prepping for emergency is foolish. Now, right now, you can save $200 on the three-month emergency supply kit. This is unbelievable. 22 varieties with a 25-year shelf life, 25 years, 2,000 calories a day in six rugged buckets, 120 pounds of food. Could you go three months, 90 days if stores close? Be honest. Could you go a week without any trips to the store? I don't think so. I'm not talking about having stuff in your cabinet. I'm not talking about banana chips and jerky. I'm talking about food, real food. So go right now to preparewithlionel.com. This moment right now, preparewithlionel.com, preparewithlionel.com. Go now and thank me later. Well, today we found also that Candace Owens was given the heave haul by Daily Wire and that genius Ben Shapiro. Now, I don't know if this was Ben or who pulled the plug on it, but you've got to be the most stupid people in the world. Now you just created a media monster, a monster. I mean, she was big enough before. She's only 34 years old. She's going to be off the charts. And they're talk now. You ready for this? This will be perfect. Candace Owens on The View. Oh, my God. She would decimate them. Joy Behar would look like a bug over a match. Be the most beautiful thing that ever happened in the world. Now, guess what? Candace was basically should can because I guess what? Because she said, she talked about Israel. Oh, for the love of God. What kind of a dream world? I, there was some, <laughs> there was a debate. I don't know who it was. Reza, whatever it is. Reza. And Dennis Prager, dear God, Dennis Prager is off. I don't know who the other guy was. But he was gone. Gone. I'm not going to get into Israel with you. I know right now. but So I would have said, hey, listen, Candace, you say whatever you want. Everybody's saying what you're saying. Well, when I say everybody, I mean other people have said it. You think there's a genocide? Say what you want. Say what you feel. It's okay. We're not going to fire you because of that. We believe in free speech. We'll rebut you. We won't agree with you. Go ahead. So what I would have said. Why? Because I don't want to lose the, the 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 views. Keep her there. What's the matter? The other day she was talking about, listen, nobody gave a, you didn't give a rat's ass about when she was claiming that Macron's wife is a man. Now, let me tell you something. I don't, I don't care for that. I don't think she should be arrested. I just don't watch it. Nobody gave her a hard of time about that. Did you see when she was on talking with this, this rabbi who claimed that she's an anti-Semite because she used the word hag? Oh, for God's sake. One of the funniest lines was Rabbi Shmuley and his daughter selling butt plugs. I'm thinking, butt plugs? Wait a minute, hold it. Anal beads, different story. You can't. When was the last time you ever heard rabbi and butt plug in the same sentence? 
No, she's golden. But these people are so stupid because they want to shut everybody down who dares to give an opinion contrary to theirs. Well, Candace, congratulations. Congratulations. You are now going to go off the chart. You and Tucker Carlson have just been... Because in our neck of the woods, nothing, nothing gains our respect more than you being branded as troublemaker or truth seeker. Okay? So good for you. This is the best thing that ever happened to you. You don't need these people. And it's just, it's so smarmy and sniveling. And by the way, one more thing and I'll let it go. Ben Shapiro, have you run out of, of stuff when you sit there and now you're just reacting to things? Can you please explain to me this YouTube brilliance where you have people just react? Have you seen the Pegasus guy? Oh, look, we're going to be watching Jerry Reed play the guitar. Oh, he's wonderful. Did you notice the progression of, yeah, 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 I know about Jerry Reed. Where the hell have you been? And then we'll have Black Dude respond for the first time to Joe Cocker. What? Yeah, Black Guy says, I can't, I can't believe this. Are you kidding me? Then they'll have uh, Koreans respond to barbecue or Afghani mullahs try their first gummy bears. I mean, this is the most stupid stuff, these reactions. So what do they have? Ben Shapiro. Now, Ben's watching. I guess Ben's run out of stuff to say. So they have Ben watching something. Oh, look, here's a woman dancing in her kitchen. What do you think? What do I think? I don't know. Come on, pretend. It's like, that is so unfair. You're reacting? You don't even, you don't even do it yourself? What is the matter? Is it me? I think it's me. I think it's me. And then I know, I'm going to say something right now. You're not going to like this. Your boyfriend, Trump. That's what I think is like, please, please don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. What does he do? He goes on Truth Social and says, I got 50 million or 500 million. I got the cash. Don't say that. What was that? I got it. Your lawyers just said you did well now. I did. So are they lying? Are you lying? What are you doing? You're trying to suspect. What? Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. People get upset. 4D chess. He's doing it on purpose. He's doing it on purpose. He's doing what on purpose? He's throwing it. His lawyers just filed something and say he didn't have the money. Now he, I know, I know. I like the Trump apologist. Oh, no, no. He's he's a genius. 4D chess. What? What are you talking about? See, I live in a world where I just like things that make sense. I don't like people lying to me. Lying. And what was Obama doing at 10 Downing Street? I don't know about that. You never know. Never know. Never know about those folks. So there you have it today. Let me say this again. And let me make this very, very clear to my dear friends. We're Americans. We hate lying. And there's nothing conspiracy theory about anything I've said. Nothing. There's no conspiracy theory when you're pointing out nonsense and lies. I hate to be lied to. You have no idea. I hate it. Just like I did one a video on this drove me crazy on intermittent fasting. Oh, it's bad for you. You liar. You are a liar. Oprah, liar. Hard works. I, it's it's a, a come on, Ozempic. Everybody, every, every, does anybody tell the truth? Does anybody tell the truth anywhere? Does anybody know what they're doing? Let me tell you one story, which was, it's gross and it's funny. And if you've got a, a very weak stomach, you might want to turn this off now because this will make you sick. But it's true. In 1985, Ronald Reagan had cancerous polyps taken off. This is before anybody, this is before colonoscopies, before anybody did this. 
This is 40 years ago. And I remember it like it was yesterday. President Bergen is going on. And they, he went under anesthesia. And while he was out, while he was under anesthesia, they turned, they, they transferred power to George Herbert Walker Bush under the, what, 22nd of Amendment, uh, for some time. 25th, 22nd, I was going to, anyway. So, in fact, SNL had one of the funniest things. They said, George, George Bush presidency, a look back. It was an hour. It was an hour. Okay. So at the time, for the first time, uh, Ronald Reagan uh, said things like, you know, I close, please get this checked out. Again, it's not like it is now. So at the time, the way people would do this, no, Al Haig said, I'm in charge after he was shot, not for the colonoscopy. Okay, remember that? It was a bit, Al Haig said, I'm in charge. No, you're not. No, it was the third in line is the Speaker of the House. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, at the time, there was a piece where um, at the time, there was a uh, 25th Amendment. At the time, there was a, uh, it was a, a consideration as to how best to handle and, and look for a uh, possible colon cancer. Bob S., by the way, has got something critical. He says, excellent rap on diet and modesty earlier. Kudos, excellent rap on diet and modesty earlier. Kudos. Well, thank you for repeating it. I appreciate that. Hey, listen, if it's, if it's good once, it's good twice. Thank you, Bob. So anyway, so listen to this story. So uh, they were saying the, the way you looked for colon cancer was perhaps to find occult blood in your feces okay that's my astrological sign feces i tell people that all the time and they don't catch it what are you well i'm sagittarius feces they don't they okay so what they would do is they would you would take a fecal swab or a smear versus a smear which is a different story and they would put a reagent on it or something, and they would look for occult blood. They would look for evidence of, of, of digested blood because that was a sign of, of, of um, digested blood or perhaps maybe a bleed or something higher up in the colon. Bright red blood, good news, might be more hemorrhoidal or something, but usually not anything to worry about, though you should always check with your doctor. But it's that hidden stuff that's a problem, the occult blood, hidden. Not something that uh, our good friend Sticks Hexenhammer would be involved in, you know, occult blood, which was the name of my garage band. So there was a, there was a local radio station in Tamil years ago, and they said Eckerd Drugstore. I don't know if you had Eckerd's. Eckerd was Jack Jack Eckerd. Eckerd Drugstore, in conjunction with Channel Eight or whatever it was, is offering the following: go into an Eckerd Drugstore and get one of these cards. And and this woman was trying very carefully. And put a sample on the card and mail it in to the address that's provided because it can detect, you know. And I mean, you could tell her, see her just wincing. So take your thing and you know, smear it on with a nice, you know, lather it up, put it in the bank, send it off to, uh, imagine you opening up that mail. In any event, I found out, because, you know, the Tampa Bay area, a lot of older folks who didn't really understand the instructions. And they might have misunderstood it. So what they did was they would send samples of their own stools to Channel 8. <laughs> and, and, all, and all of a sudden, I heard the guy in the mailroom goes, whoa, what the hell is... They thought it was maybe um, like terrorism or they were commenting on the quality of the program. Or they said, what the hell is this? I come in on Tuesday, and all of a sudden, I can't even walk into the mailroom. What the hell is going on here? And somebody said, wait a minute. Do you think that maybe, I think that maybe some of our viewers might have misunderstood what they're supposed to do with the card? Yes. So the next night, or the next whatever it was, 
This is what I heard. Now look, <laughs> this is always good when we're on your side. We're eight on your side. We're here for you. Eyewitness. We're here for you. Remember that when they have the local thing, we're, we're painting somebody's house. We're here for you. This is in the, in the 80s. And we're so nice. And, you know, anyway. So you knew something was up when the very nice lady says, now look, don't mail us anything. Okay? If you're going to poop in a bag, send it someplace else, but don't send it to us. Never said to send it to us. Send it to Eckerd. In fact, don't send anybody. Just, just you go to Eckerd to get the card. But do not send us any. She didn't say it like that. But in essence, that's what she was saying. One of the funniest things. And I imagine being the guy in the mail room. You know, they always say, you know, I got my start in the mail room. And I can see somebody with a hazmat suit and a 10-foot pole coming in there and saying, oh, you got it? I got it. Get rid of it. Gigging this thing. One of the funniest moments from my life. Because it's, it's great, and it's a great story. And it deals with, um, you know, excrement, which is always a, a great party pleaser. So there you have it, my friends. It was quite the day today. And let me just go on the record by saying I like Kate. Uh, as far as these inbreds go, I like her. I wish her nothing but the best and health. And I wish she would come out immediately and just call these idiots out and say, I never, ever signed on to lie or claim to be a Photoshopper, okay? I do not do that. I'm not going to lie to you. This is what happened. This is what they said. This is what I'm going to be doing. And I want you to realize, let's just use this moment as a teaching. This is what I have. Let's invite a bunch of other people to bottle moral or wherever the hell it is and, and make it a learning thing. Reach out. But don't, you're telling people you have nothing to worry, nothing to be ashamed about with cancer. Well, what do you have? <laughs> But what does Chuck have? No, 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 no. We're going to leave it at that. But I'm supposed to tell you, well, of course. I'm supposed to, I've got nothing to worry about, but you're not going to be honest with me. Exactly. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. I don't understand it. People know this today. People are hip to this. That's all I'm going to say. All right, dear friends. You have a great and a glorious day. I wish we could meet on better circumstances, but that's the way that is. Please make sure, dear friend, that you follow Mrs. L accordingly right here. Let me get the banner at Lynn's Warriors. All day today, she was out and about all day meeting with her. She'll tell you all about it. Follow her great work at Lynn's Warriors. And also for the best, the best, the best Twitter X page. Go to Lynn's Warriors, Lynn's, L-Y-N-N-S, underscore Warriors, on Twitter, okay? Forget this. I can't say X. I'm, I'm still saying album. All right. Have a great and glorious day. Remember, you are tremendous. I thank you for all that you've done. And Bob S., thank you for your inexplicable, immune, immune uh, kindness and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and magniloquence. Thank you so much for that. All right, dear friends. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Don't ever change. I mean, that's sincerely. Until then, remember, the monkey's dead. The show's over. Sue you. Dead, dead.